Well, I've got bad news for you. They saved the worst speaker for last. <laughs> so, and I'm going to be honor your time, but it is an honor to speak about this phenomenal organization that I'm passionate about. The first thing I want to do is express my gratitude to everyone for coming here tonight. I know if you're like me, you're very busy, and the truth is you get asked every day for either a commitment of time or a commitment for money. And I want to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming to this event because it's important to me and it's important to all of us and it's important to those kids in India. Um, it's my hope and my prayer that you will be touched and impacted by this organization like I was about seven years ago when I first discovered this mission that we're on together. A lot of times my friends, my clients, they all ask me, Mike, why India? Why child freedom? And I think that's a great question. And I'm going to give you the five reasons that I love supporting this ministry. The first reason is the leadership. I work with a lot of successful business owners, so I know what it takes to be successful and get extraordinary results. It takes passion to persist when others would give up and quit. And it takes a commitment to excellence in your operations to succeed. And I've worked now with David Miller pretty closely for four years, and I can tell you his passion is unparalleled. His commitment to excellence is great, and I feel the same way about David Moorhead. So when I give my money and my time to this organization, I feel like it's going to be well stewarded. It's going to be taken care of. I trust them to deliver. The second reason I love this organization so much, it's small, it's nimble, it's quick. Now, they have one mission, and they've stayed focused on that mission, committed. For the, for the whole time I've been involved in this organization. And they don't take their eyes off the prize. If you look at their balance sheet, you're not going to see land, buildings, you're not going to see endowments. You know when you make a commitment of your time or money that it is going to be, it's going to make a difference. And I also know, I can make jokes about David Miller's frugalness and <laughs> I also know they're very frugal and they're very committed to saving money. I, I, if anyone thinks Ruth Chris is a little expensive, it was my idea. I take it. You know, so I was like, David, we got to do something. We got to be people nice. So uh, the third reason I really love this organization is the mission. Just think about it. We are, we're talking about the bottom of the bottom here, guys. We're talking about stuff that's just so so terrible. I mean, it's so despicable that it's, it's really hard for us to imagine. And you know, when I think about this, I think about what Jesus said in Matthew 25, verses 35 through 36. For when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. And when people ask Jesus, when did we see you hungry? Jesus said, truly I tell you, if you did something for the least of these, you've done it for me. I would challenge you to think about an organization that does a better job of serving the least, that actually commits this. And best of all, like David, David said, we're not just feeding them, we're not just taking the air for a day, we are saving children and empowering them to break the cycle of poverty. The fourth reason I love this organization are results. People who know me know that I'm results work. I mean, my son's sitting over there, I'm like, hey, we gotta win, we gotta win, we gotta win, right? But especially when we give money, we want to know that it's making a difference. All of us long to make an impact. And you've seen it. The results speak for themselves. Over and over, we're graduating kids. The ministry's going to get self-sustaining. And now these kids, I mean, 
I don't know about you, but I, um, I just wish I had the spirit of gratitude that these kids have. And the fifth and the most important reason is I think about those kids. I mean, those precious kids who have absolutely nothing, no family, no one cares. No one cares if they live. No one cares if they die. And worst of all, unlike us, they don't know about Jesus and his gift of eternal life. I know the one thing when I've gone through my, what I call rich people problems, or my things where I thought things were falling apart and everything, the one thing that's kept me on track is my faith in God and is the knowledge that one day I'll see my Savior. <clears throat> and these kids, they don't even have that to go through the circumstances they have. And then one question I always ask myself when it comes to help in the ministry is if you don't do it, who else will? Hey, if you don't host the event, who else will? If you don't talk to people about this event, who else will? I think of John 4, 35, 36. I'm sorry. John chapter 4, verse 35, 36. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now, one who reaps draws a wage and harvests a crop for eternal life, so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. I have to ask you a question. Where else is the harvest more ripe than India? My statistics are old. 1.5 billion people, only 3% of the population are Christians. And then, Jesus reminds me in Matthew 18, 5, 6. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And that motivates me. Because I know that we're doing a good job of welcoming the kids. Tonight, we have a real simple ask. There's 196 kids that are graduating. And in order for them to have a future of success, we need to pay for their vocational training. It costs $2,000 per child. And you can change someone's life forever. But not only that, as we've seen, the track record is that these kids are going to get out and they're going to support the ministry. Therefore, your money is not just a one-time gift. But it's my belief that it's going to compound and compound and save more kids. As a businessman, I like to think of it as a spiritual mutual fund, where the spiritual return on investment continues to compound forever and ever. I actually, I believe we're going to exceed our target tonight. And rest assured, when we do, 100% of the money will go to get more children in India. Now I have a question for you. If not you, who's going to do it? If not you, who's going to do it? Who's going to step forward and answer the call? So, I got good news. I'm going to conclude. <laughs> I'm going to conclude now, right? So, let's think about this for a second. A hundred percent of the money goes to India, goes to these kids. The money can be gifted over 12 months. Right now, I just want you to play with me for a second. Everyone, shut your eyes at the table. I know everyone thinks I'm crazy. Shut your eyes. And I'm going to play a little exercise called Your Brilliant Future. I want you to think about your future self. I want to think about your ideal self. I want you to think about the best version of you, your future self. If the best version of you was here tonight, how many kids would you support? Now, some of you say, hey, one is enough. Some of you might have to do a fraction. But some could do 10, 15, 20. What would the best version of yourself commit? The Bible says in Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 19 through 21, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. 
but store up for yourself treasures in heaven. Now I want everyone to open their eyes. You see, most of y'all didn't listen to me. I was on my finger up here shut my eyes. And I'm going to tell you right now that our business is going to, my typical self is going to do 10 children, but I've decided we're going to do 15 children tonight, our business. And I would like you guys to follow my lead and sponsor some of these kids because it is a great organization. It does sponsor a, make a great return. Thank you for your time and have a great night.